Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Yes, this is a real video. Some of you might think that this is so obvious, why would you need to make a video about it? But how many of you have had the experience of borrowing somebody else's pencil and looking at it and seeing, well, clearly not everyone does know how to sharpen a pencil. The first mistake that most people are making is they are probably using a dull knife. So it's a really good idea to have a sharp blade if you actually want to sharpen your pencil effectively. It's not impossible to do it with a dull blade, it just looks really bad and you break your lead a lot. I already know that because I'm filming this it's probably going to be a clumsy attempt. But I always start on the narrow side. And so you want to just give a couple good ones until you can see that. See the black right there? A couple more. And then next what I do is I'll do a pass diagonally like so, and then another pass diagonally like so on both sides. So one, two, one, see now we've got full lead exposed, one, two, and there we are. So really it's six basic passes. And now this is really blunt. So if I was doing some rough carpentry, I might be able to live with it being so blunt. But what you can do is, so one, you can fart around cutting the lead until it's sharp, or what I usually do is you can either use a piece of sandpaper, or usually what I use is just concrete ground if I'm working somewhere that's rough. But now I've got a super sharp point on it, and it's going to be really effective for trim and any fine work now. And an already sharpened pencil is exact same thing, just a little bit faster. So it really is that simple. There's not much to it, guys. One pass there, one pass there, diagonal, 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 and that tends to lend a pretty nice little chiseled tip onto it. So there you have it. That's how you sharpen a pencil. So to all the contractors out there who watch their lazy apprentices sharpening their pencil for two minutes, just show them this video. Now they'll know how it's done and they can get back to work. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I hope you found this video useful, entertaining, anything. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching you guys. Till the next video.